I'm Angus Pratt. Um, but interestingly enough, I was born in Scotland, um, and my parents immigrated to Canada when I was four years old. My diagnosis was interesting um, because it started off with a lump in my breast. I was pretty certain I knew what it was. Um, my mother died of breast cancer. My brother had um, breast cancer. And so when I found the lump in my breast, um, but it still, it took me about six months to get my butt to the doctor. He confirmed that he thought that was very suspicious and booked me into the breast clinic and I moved through the diagnostic process for breast cancer. And a couple of days after that, went in to receive the results and started on the roller coaster, really, um, the workup for mastectomies and breast cancer treatment. And when I went to get those results, there was a mass in my lung, um, which was very concerning to the doctor. They did a biopsy on, on my lungs and, and uh, 10 days later, I got the diagnosis that it was indeed um, stage 3C lung cancer. I think it was pretty overwhelming. I mean, it, I, I talk a little bit about getting the death sentence. It was pretty, when I was diagnosed, I, you know, I, I, I did all the things that you do um, when you get that kind of a sentence um, or that kind of a diagnosis, you know, got my will in order. Um, called my boys in, had a long discussion about power of attorney and, and then started in on the treatment. And it was, you know, six weeks of aggressive chemo radiation. And yeah, by the end of six weeks, I couldn't even walk around the block. I was so fatigued. Um, and it, 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 it sort of makes you wonder, you know, what the future holds and, and where things are going. And, and towards the end of my chemo radiation, I was offered compassionate access to an immunotherapy, you know, slowly as nothing was happening hope starts to build and you start to think okay maybe i'm going to be one of those five percent maybe i'm going to be one of those people that can ride this thing out a little bit longer and nine months along my oncologist compared the ct scan that he was looking at with the baseline and saw some progression that i would have to say was probably one of the lowest points in my treatment um, just feeling like you know, here I, I was just starting to feel hopeful. I was starting to look forward. And in, in that interim period, I had lost my wife too, I should say. And, um, and so it was at that point that I discovered this whole EGFR positive thing that had been mentioned early, but it really hadn't meant anything to me at the time. And so I was switched um, from the immunotherapy um, when I was handed that, I was sort of told, yeah, two months to two years um, on this drug is what we normally see, and there is hope here. Dealing with any kind of cancer earlier, sooner, than, better than later is so much better. Um, there are more and more uh, people who have never smoked who are being diagnosed with lung cancer. But if you've got symptoms like a persistent cough, and particularly if you have been a smoker, talk to your doctor. Um, get that simple chest x-ray that can that can get that diagnosis. So um, more research, but also for those people who potentially have lung cancer, um, it is there is much more hope than there used to be. There are treatments and, and they are proving to be effective both at, at extending life and actually curing in some cases if it's caught early enough.